Hey friends, this is Charting Man Dan of the Chart Guys. We are looking at Apple today on the daily and weekly charts. This is the daily time frame where each candlestick represents one trading day worth of action. Today was a bullish day for Apple, even though it closed red. You can see that it dipped all the way, way down to $124 below this lower Bollinger Band support. And then the bulls stepped in and bought it all the way back up to $125.69. So this could potentially be a bullish reversal signal. You want to see confirmation tomorrow, another green candle showing that this bounce actually does have some strength. You have the MACD down here that could potentially bullish cross in the near future. And you've got the RSI cruising could potentially make a bullish cross of 50 as well if this move does have some strength. As you can see, there was some resistance here on the 50 day moving average back on this big move and there was a lot of profit taking and that led to three red days so ideally the bulls want to turn this 50 day moving average into support but there's a couple hurdles before we get there there's the 10 day moving average at 126.41 the middle bollinger band at 127 even and then the 50 day moving average 128.09 so those are the three targets that the bulls have if they want to see apple bounce back you can see there's a bit of a double top formed up here and it, that's going to be a key level to bust through in order for Apple to keep setting new highs. Looking at the weekly chart, you can see that Apple has fairly recently, the past few weeks, broken below this middle Bollinger Band and turned it into resistance. That level is 126.97. So long term, there is not a whole lot for the bulls to celebrate. Well, I mean, obviously the past three months have been wonderful, and the past you know year has been great, but we now need to see these moving averages turn back into support if this move is going to continue. We have this low set here. You can see it was the low for this pullback and then on this dip where there were two big hammers of the bulls buying this dip and that is definitely the level that the bulls want to see hold on this dip. We will call that about 122.50. So that is a key level on the weekly chart to close above and maintain as support. Otherwise, the 50 week moving average is way down here at 115. Not saying that's where it's headed, but it could potentially be headed that way if the bears start to gain traction. I appreciate you watching. Feel free to ask me any questions or comments. Uh, we have a free chat going. I will link it in the description. You're welcome to join. We're just creating a beneficial environment for teaching and trading stocks. And I hope you have a wonderful night.